Welcome back to Cyberflux, the channel where we make tech easy and accessible for everyone. In today's video we're diving into something that can save you time, space, and hassle how to compress and convert videos using Handbrake. Whether you're looking to reduce file sizes to save space, make your videos easier to share, or simply convert them to a different format, we've got you covered. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use Handbrake like a pro. Let's get started. Why compress and convert videos? Before we jump into the how, let's quickly cover the why. There are many reasons you'd want to compress or convert a video. Maybe you're running low on storage, or you need a smaller file size to upload a video to a website or share it via email. Or perhaps you need to change the format of a video so it's compatible with different devices. Compressing videos without losing quality can be tricky, but Handbrake makes it easy and efficient. Downloading and installing Handbrake. The first thing you need to do is download and install Handbrake. Handbrake is completely free and open source, which means you won't need to worry about any hidden fees or subscriptions. It's trusted by millions of users worldwide for compressing and converting videos, so you're in safe hands. To download it, follow these steps. Open your web browser and head over to handbrake.fr. Always make sure you're downloading from the official site to avoid any security risks. Once on the homepage, You'll see download options for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Handbrake supports all major operating systems, so just select the version that matches your device. For most users, it will either be Windows or Mac OS. Click on the download button for your operating system. For Windows users, this will download a .exe file, and for Mac OS users, it will be a .dmg file. The file size is relatively small, so the download should only take a minute or two depending on your internet speed. Once the file is downloaded, open it to begin the installation. If you're using Windows, the system might prompt you with a security pop-up asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click Yes to continue with the installation. The setup wizard will guide you through the process just hit Next and accept the default settings unless you have a specific need to change the installation path. If you don't already have it installed, Handbrake will require Microsoft.NET Desktop Runtime 8.0 to run on Windows. You can download it from Microsoft's official website. I'll include the link in the description, and the Handbrake installer will also prompt you to download it if needed. Once the runtime is installed, Handbrake will be good to go. Opening Handbrake and loading your video. Once Handbrake is installed, launch the program and you'll see the option to open source at the top left. This is where you load the video you want to compress or convert. Click open source and navigate to the folder where your video is saved. Select your video file and Handbrake will load it, showing you important information like the video's resolution, length, and current format, understanding Handbrake's interface. Let's take a quick look at the Handbrake interface. It might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry. The main sections you need to focus on are the preset panel on the right, the output settings in the middle, and the queue and start encode buttons at the top. The preset panel is where you'll select the settings for compressing or converting your video while the output settings allow for more fine-tuning if needed. Choosing the right preset. Handbrake makes things easy with its preset options, which are pre-configured settings that give you a balance between file size and quality. On the right-hand side, you'll see a list of presets such as Fast 1080p30, HQ720p30 surround and more. If you're working with high-definition videos, Choosing Fast 1080p30 will give you a good balance of quality and compression. If you're compressing for mobile or web use, you might choose Fast 720p30 or even lower depending on your needs. Adjusting Advanced Compression Settings While the presets are great for most users, you might want more control over how your video is compressed. 
Under the Video tab, you'll find settings like Constant Quality and Bitrate. Handbrake uses a constant quality slider that ranges from 0 to 51, where lower values mean better quality but larger file sizes, and higher values reduce file size but at the cost of quality. A good balance for most videos is around 22 for constant quality. You can also adjust the bitrate if you want to have even more control over file size and quality. For this tutorial, I'm using the MPEG-4 format with a quality setting of 4. This will help maintain excellent video quality while keeping the file size manageable. By setting the quality to 4, you ensure a higher compression rate without sacrificing too much visual clarity. Feel free to use these settings for a great balance between file size and quality. Changing the video format. One of Handbrake's biggest strengths is its ability to convert video formats. If you need to change your video from, say, AVI to MPEG4 or MP4 to MPV, Handbrake can handle it. By default, it saves files in MPEG4, which is widely supported across devices and platforms. If you need to convert to MKV for higher quality video or specific uses, just select it from the Format drop-down menu under the Summary tab. MPEG4 is a safe bet if you're unsure which format to choose. Adding or removing subtitles and audio tracks. Another cool feature in Handbrake is the ability to add or remove subtitles and adjust audio tracks. If your video has multiple audio tracks or subtitles, and you want to strip them out or add new ones, Handbrake makes it easy. Just navigate to the Audio and Subtitles tabs, where you can remove tracks to reduce file size or add subtitles if you're preparing a video for an international audience. Selecting the Output Destination and File Name Before we start the encoding process, make sure to set your output destination. This is where the compressed or converted video will be saved on your computer. At the bottom of the window, click Browse to choose a folder and give your file a new name if necessary. This will help you keep track of the compressed version and the original. Starting the encoding process. Now for the exciting part actually compressing and converting the video. Once you've selected your preset, adjusted any settings and set your output file, it's time to hit the Start Encode button at the top of the screen. Handbrake will begin compressing the video based on your chosen settings. Depending on the size of the file and the settings you've applied, this could take a few minutes to an hour. You can monitor the progress bar at the bottom of the screen. Checking the final video. Once Handbrake is done, head over to the folder where you saved the file and check the output you'll notice that the file size is significantly smaller if you chose the right compression settings, and the quality should still be very good. At this point, your video is ready for sharing, uploading, or storing. Tips for further compression. If the file size is still too large for your needs, you can tweak the compression settings and run the video through Handbrake again. Reducing the resolution or adjusting the bitrate can help shrink the file even more. Just remember, the more you compress, the more you might sacrifice on video quality, so find a good balance based on your specific use case. And that's how you can compress and convert videos like a pro using Handbrake. Whether you're trying to save space, share a video more easily, or convert it for a specific platform, Handbrake is one of the best tools out there, and it's completely free. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future tech tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, good luck and peace.